Hi, I'm Heinbach. And it's good to have you back. <laughs> that went all the way to the moon. <laughs> what you just heard is a true space echo. My voice was sent to the moon using a big radio dish. And then that same dish received the signal again. And it came back all changed from the moon. Ah. Uh... You expect, uh, when you send white noise to the moon, that you simply get white noise back. But what happens is, because of the, the, the mechanism, the moving rock with all the bumps and dents and whatever, and the, co constantly uh, moving towards us or, or away from us, all those different frequencies in the white noise become a bit stronger others become a bit weaker and because it moves you hear the movement you do not hear simply but you hear there are basically three movements the earth moves we, ro we rotate when we see the moon rising in fact we rotate towards the moon on our position we uh, are getting closer and closer to the moon uh, while we rotate until it's right completely uh, up in the sky then we rotate away from the moon and then we move away from the moon the moon itself uh, rotates in a not completely circular uh, orbit around the earth it's uh, going away from us or going towards us the third movement is that the, the moon librates it wobbles a bit and that means that we do not see 50 percent of the moon surface but all in all, we can see 60%. Every now and then, we can see a little bit of the back, the dark side, the back side. It's not really the dark side. But, <laughs> but it's cool to call it that. Come right. on. That causes a very interesting uh, Doppler effect. Test one, two, three. And if the Doppler is not okay, test one, two, three. Ooh, that sounds cool. If you see the receiving frequency, and that shifts the pitch of the of the audio. Yeah. <laughs> Do. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> it's fun. Those Doppler effects are different across the complete globe, and and so some tones get. A little bit higher, uh, others more higher, and others even more higher. This process is called moon bouncing and has been around since the 1940s. But I did not only set my voice up there. I sent a soprano singer, Johanna Vargas. And a bassist, Paul Cannon, up there too. as well as signals for my patrons. <laughs> and test signals, because I wanted to capture the unique sound of the moon bounce in plugin form. And I teamed up with AudioThing to bring you a new and free plugin called Moon Echo.
that the Moon can be an odd reflector for radio transmissions was first discovered by German radio operators during the Second World War. But it was only after the war that Moon bouncing was developed as a communications technique. First it was the US military that made use of it, but with the advent of satellites, Moon bouncing became irrelevant for defense operations, but radio amateurs are still connecting through the Moon to this day with each other. I first heard of the moon bouncing technique when I was researching Pauline Oliveros and her deep listening projects. The aesthetic of deep listening is designed to inspire both trained and untrained performers to practice the art of listening and responding to environmental conditions in solo and ensemble situations. She said a first hello to the moon in 1987. I played a duo with the moon using a tin whistle, accordion and conch shell. Pauline Oliveros expressed regret that this was only a send or receive operation. So you could send something and then you would receive it with the delay time of the moon. So it would be only these very short phrases. Maybe it would be possible in the future to set up the moon as a delay line. And that's where my idea to work with audio thing on an echo came about. Because, oh my god, what a fantastic thing to use the moon as an echo, and even if it's just simulated. So that sent me into a deep rabbit hole. Luckily, I stumbled upon this tweet by my friend Zorin. Tom Fox got me in contact with Martine Nicole Royina, who runs the Sister Moon Project. How many times have you been at the dish? I think four. Okay. And the most special one was the 50 years anniversary of the moon landing. Ooh. We've been here, and we've been here for more than 12 hours in a row. Okay. It's really... But it's that's really the nice. first time since uh, how many years now that you... I think four. Four years. Because of Corona, it was closed. Okay. And I'm actually really excited and I'm getting a bit sweaty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and she got me in contact with the nice people of Cameras in Dwingelo. Welcome at the radio telescope Dwingelo. The dish itself is only but a mirror. There is mesh on it and that mesh is seven by seven millimeters. And for radio waves, uh, that acts like a complete mirror. So you can uh, compare it with the headlights of your car. Uh, and the light bulb of your car is emitting its light towards that dish, uh, towards that mirror, and then it becomes a, a nice beam in front of your car. Well, the same happens here. That big box there uh, up, the focus box, there is all the, the, the real antennas and the real technique, the, 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 the receivers and transmitters are there. When we transmit, the radio waves are transmitted on this dish, on this mirror, and then the beam is formed and the beam goes right away into the universe or when we do moon bounce to the moon. And of course, it works also in reverse. Radio waves come, hit the dish, and they are all reflected towards that focal point. This big dish, it's 25 meters, that's really big, but the amplification factor is about 100,000. So one antenna, but it more or less acts like 100,000 small antennas. The whole instrument moves. So the cabin where we are now and the dish all together move on that big rail. So that means there's only one point where you can access this in instrument with cables. And that's this. This is the center. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going to speed up. The distance at this moment is 401,000 kilometers. Okay. So rather far away. Cool. Not maximum. That is this to this time maximum happened 
two days ago, 404. But that's good for nice long delays then, basically. Yes, absolutely. We've connected the laptop yeah. with the sounds yeah. to the transmitter. Right. Right. And now we need to gate it at the moment that every time, like, I want a signal to, to send. Yeah. And it's, okay, so how do, you, how do we do this? Well, we can do it manually. Yes. Using uh, this uh, simple device. Very primitive piece of uh, metal and this uh, connector. I could not send musical pieces to the moon because these are amateur radio waves and they're not used for musical broadcasts. This is not a radio station. So I wrote a list of technical instructions to Johanna, the sopranist, and to Paul Cannon, the double bassist. Moon Echo Soprano. Moon Echo Soprano. Uh, That sounds so great. Oh my god, she sounds like a synthesizer. That sounds so cool. Ah, let's go. <laughs> now time for extended techniques. Oh my god, if someone listens to this. Yeah, yeah, they think, what the hell is this? I doubt this plugin will be easy on your CPU. <laughs> Even though it's lo-fi, this is gonna be a whole lot of things working under the hood. It's way more complex than I thought. Way more complex. With the bounced sounds, I could make the music that you've been listening to all this episode, and it would allow us to test how instruments, especially one that has the very lowest range and one that has one of the very highest range, would perform when they're sent to the moon. We're going very low, we're going below yeah. the range, but it has overtones. Right. So the we overtones. catch the overtones. What we heard was in fact virtual bass. Yeah, yeah. We heard a very, very low tone. Mm -hmm. We did not hear the, 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 the fundamental, no. because it's simply impossible, but yeah. we experienced it as a very low tone, because our brain thinks, because of the, the way the, the, fun, the harmonics are there, thinks automatically generates the, the lower tone. Exactly, exactly. So the next people we're sending to the moon are my dear supporters on Patreon who sent in all kinds of different sounds. And they are the ones that make these things, these travels possible. So thank you. Very high. Oh, still, 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 still. Oh, shortwave. If you want to use these beautiful moon touch samples in your own music, go to my Patreon. They are available there for free. You just have to sign up to the free tier so the whole thing doesn't get bots downloaded. Back home, the struggle to make this a plugin began. Carl and me, we've done a bunch of unusual plugins now, so we went in with a rather cavalier attitude. But the process is so very, very complex. 
There are so many things that are happening when something is bounced to the moon. There are literally planetary movements to think of. At some point it felt we were cavemen throwing rocks at the sun to make it go away. It is an incredibly complex plugin, more complex than anything we've done before. But that's all under the hood. You won't get to see that. <laughs> all the parameters we tweaked ages and ages. We can't claim that it's a perfect simulation of a moon bounce. It would have needed days upon days more recordings. It's meant to be inviting, to be used as a musical instrument, but also as a teaching tool. And to give a bit of that spark of space. La le lu. La le lu. Nur der Mann im Mund schaut zu. Wenn die kleinen Babys schlafen. And if you are connected to the internet, you can even call NASA and get an accurate reading of the moon distance, which will set your delay time accordingly. For me personally, the best thing is that now you can use it as a delay line, as Pauline Oliveros had imagined all these years ago. I've got a full tutorial over at the audio thing side, which I'll link here. It works as VST, AU, iOS, AAX, CLAP and can be downloaded for free on the AudioThing website. Hopefully it gives you a taste for the enthusiasm Carlo and me encountered when we started this project, we had while we were making it, and you can get a taste of what it is like to send signals to the moon, shouting at our nearest neighbor. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't stop. Shining. And looking. Above us. Above us.